Welcome back. Happy to be joined by Dan Wetzel, a national sports columnist for Yahoo.com. I'm sure you've seen a lot of his stuff, and you definitely want to read the new book, Death to the BCS. It's a hot topic. Thank you so much for hopping in and joining us on a great Sunday night after a fantastic college game yesterday. Yeah, it was a great football weekend with the Lions, too. And now, once again, it's been since 06 that this area specifically has thought about the BCS and ramifications for local teams. But as people start putting their hands around maybe a Michigan State run, they can sort of tie it into the BCS. Generally speaking, take me through what debt to the BCS is all about. Well, I think most sports fans, most college football fans, don't like the BCS. There's a better way to crown a champion. What we did is we spent a couple years, a couple years ago we decided, let's find out why we're really stuck with this thing. Not the ridiculous excuses about academics or this or that. Let's follow the money. Let's find out. So what we did is we, we investigated it. We pulled tax documents and university contracts and emails and got to the bottom of, of where the money's going, why there's these entrenched interests that are keeping it, that are kind of profiting off the problem, and why we're stuck with the BCS and, and how you can improve it with, with a real playoff. And right out of the bat, you right out of the gate, I should say, you come up with a solution, a workable solution that you say, yeah, they hear a lot of suggestions, but this one, given all our research, really is a workable solution. And in a nutshell, what is that workable solution? Well, it's an extensive playoff, but a 16-team playoff. And, and if you if you follow the, the, you know, I think if you read the book and if you follow it the way guys that like the conference commissioners and, and, and certain athletic directors do uh, and know all of the, the variables that go into college football, it's really the only workable solution. But it's the kind that would generate a lot more excitement and it would create more opportunity, not just for s certain smaller schools, you always hear about Boise State or TCU, but a school like Michigan State this year that could you know possibly kind of be caught caught in the outside uh, when they're really having a dream season. Now why could they be caught in the outside? We talk about the prospect of maybe both OSU and Michigan State going undefeated and MSU is going to be on the outside looking in? Yeah, Mi Michigan State has a has an almost Im uh, Im infinitesimal chance of actually playing for the BCS National Championship even if they go 12-0. and They would need a number of teams to lose including Ohio State and the way the Big Ten has set their thing up the the def, the, the, the the tie on who wins a, a Big Ten title if both teams are 12-0 and 0 is your BCS ranking. Hmm. Well, Ohio State's going to be number one. Michigan State needs Ohio State to lose. They don't get to play them this year, but they would also need Oregon and Oklahoma and Nebraska and all these other teams to lose. That's it? That's the problem with <laughs> college football. You, any other sport, you start the season, you say, if we win all of our games, we'll be the champion. Every sport you've ever heard of in any competition. In college football, it's not good enough. Why? Well, Michigan State wasn't good enough last year, or their stadium isn't big enough, or they weren't good enough 10 years ago, or they didn't get ranked high enough by Athlon, or whatever it is. It's all about perception, uh, politics, and things like that that get in the way. Well, we're going to continue our conversation on WXYZ.com. We invite you to join us there. We will wrap up the update right after this. And don't forget, you can get Death to the BCS. It releases October 14th this week. You can find it online and, of course, a lot of your local bookstores. Stay with us. We'll be right back.